So before we can uh, open up our drawing file, uh, we have to have a part that's already drawn that we can open up in that, in that drawing file. And the part that we're going to use is this part, and we have to draw it first. So let's go ahead and go to Inventor. Oops. And uh, let's get uh, open up a new file. We're going to be in the metric system, standard. Let's create a sketch. And let's go to the XY plane. Okay, so let's take a look at this part again. If I look at this, these uh, views over here, especially like the top view and the front view and the side view, uh, this is what's helpful about having these additional views. You have uh, you kind of get a general overall shape of a rectangular solid. So what we're going to do is start with a rectangle. Okay, and let's go ahead and um, uh, dimension this. And this will be, the length will be 100. Bring this back. And then the width will be 50. Okay. Okay. And let's make sure that we constrain uh, our um, make this centered about the origin. So vertically. And just for the record, you don't have to do this, but it is uh, good. It's just good practice. Um, because as your parts get more advanced um, and you start adding certain features to them, you want to be able to predict how they're going to behave. And it's easier to predict when your part is symmetric about the, the origin. Okay, so go ahead and finish this sketch. And then let's extrude this to 50. All right, so, um, all right, so we have this solid. Uh, what I did was extrude it to 50 because what I'm going to do is use a subtractive approach which is basically cutting away at the material as opposed to the additive approach where you, you kind of build it up layer by layer like you would you would build up this part you know and then build up this part and then build up the you know this section here I'm going to use a subtractive approach where we're going to cut into this material until it produces this uh, this piece that we want here so let's go ahead and save this and we'll call this uh, three hole block yes All right and let's go ahead and move on now